The country's first ever public Māori art gallery in Whangare is being recognised for its achievements only nine months after opening. Wairo Māori Art Gallery, Te Hua Rewa Toi Wairo Māori, located within the Huntavasa Art Centre, had just received the Qualmark Sustainable Tourism Gold Level Certification. Elizabeth Ellis, CNZM, Nō Ngāpuhi Ngāti Poro, is chair of the Wairo Māori Art Gallery Charitable Trust, and is with us now. Tēnā koe, Elizabeth. Thank you very much for joining us and congratulations on your certification, which comes after you also won two gold awards at this year's Best Awards. Yes, kia ora, kia ora um, Neil. It's very good to be here again with you. And we are delighted with the uh, the Tourism Award. It's a, it re, it'll make a substantial difference, we think, mm. to... Um, visitors to our gallery and to the north and it puts us on the map uh, that goes beyond being a Māori gallery within the Hundavasa Centre and, and within a cultural hub. It puts us on the map as a reliable, pleasant, exciting experience. Yeah, it's, it's amazing and, and well done. What's the significance on receiving this Qualmark Award? What does it mean to you? It, it, re it really means that we have uh, landed on our feet, as it were. We, have, uh, we are being recognised in another dimension for this public Māori art gallery. It's another layer of... Um, acknowledgement of quality of the gallery and of Māori. So everything that we do reflects on Māori, everything. Mm, we mm. are totally Māori and we make the whole place bicultural because we are independent and strongly Māori yeah, and I... focused on them. And we hope to draw in our people. We hope that our people will come and see the work of our artists, of our artists who represent the whole of Aotearoa, not just the north, but everywhere. And that's what we're there for. So this poll mark, we hope, will be something that our people can look up and say, well, go there, looks pretty good. It's close to Waitangi. Mm -hmm. They can come up to Waitangi Day and they can visit us and uh, they'll be looked after when they get here. Yeah, and obviously a lot of work's gone into this, so well done to you and your team for that. Wido is currently showing well-known artist Shane Cotton's latest show, Kei Muri Ngā Mea I Te Rā, Things Behind the Sun. What's the reception been like to his first solo exhibition in Te Tai Tokero? Well, we're thrilled with having Shane back within us. This is his, is his first solo exhibition in the north, in Taitokoro, he now has a place in Russell, so he's moved home, and he's and his work, the exhibition, is stunning, and it's not just paintings and prints, but there is a three-dimensional work as well, and it's a little waka, and you have to come and see it to appreciate what it is. Uh, we have uh, we're delighted with it. He's known. Uh, he has an international and national reputation, as you know, and he's he's a very modest man, quite quiet. He has a very supportive wife, Luanne, and they uh, they came to the opening. There was a dawn, uh, there was a dawn a karakia for his exhibition by Taparafo, and then we had an event in the evening, and the next day. He gave a talk to the public about uh, his work and what it means and why he's doing what he does. And he would be a really good person to have to interview here, Neil. Well, we might have to do that and very soon. Elizabeth Ellis, Chair of the Wairo Māori Art Gallery Charitable Trust, thank you so much for your time today and congratulations again for receiving the Qualmark Sustainable Tourism Gold Level Certification. Ngā mihi. Thank you, Nick. Thank you, Neil. Yummy. Yeah,